It's important to remember that Jesus loved a good party. Um, one of my favorite things in the communion service when it's done in Spanish is that part at the fraction anthem where um, the minister says you know, in English, Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. And in Spanish, the response is, celebremos la fiesta. <laughs> and it really gets to the heart of it. You know, let's celebrate the feast. Let's party. And that's the essence of the Christian faith. Um, if you go to uh, the Holy Land, not far out of Nazareth, there's a place called Zippori. And it's a kind of major uh, tourist archaeological site these days. And um, what's interesting about it is it's where wealthy Jews seem to have lived. And so if Jesus grew up in Nazareth, this wouldn't have been far away. And what's left are huge banquet halls. And what's even more startling is the floors are done in Greek mosaics of, of mythological figures. Now, remember that whole thing about thou shalt not make an image? Well, never mind. When there was party time, people made their floors pretty and did what they wanted. But it's fascinating to think that when Jesus talks about going to big banquets, to marriage feasts, to, um, to celebrations, um, it was probably on that scale as well as the little things and the simple things. Um, we begin with that story not only because it's Mardi Gras, it's a time to celebrate, to eat up all the fat, but because we carry that sense and that joy with us all through the season of Lent. Um, there are those in the church who would have us think of Lent as, as very dour and depressed and slow. And it is introspective and it is reflective. And it does enable us to slow down and to think uh, perhaps more deeply. But that undercurrent of the feast goes right throughout. And um, notice that we talk about Sundays in Lent, but Sundays not of Lent. That's because Sunday is not really a part of the season. If you count up the 40 days of Lent, the, the Sundays don't count. Every Sunday's a feast. So if you're giving up something, <laughs> chocolate or wine, you can have all you want on Sunday because that's not Lent. But um, as we go through this season of Lent, um, we say our prayers, we take on disciplines, we give of ourselves to others and to those most in need, but we also remember the feast and we continue to celebrate it. Thanks be to God for this holy season. May God draw us more closely to himself and to one another. Come on, Mary and, and Joanna, we're about to burn the palms. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. Most holy God, let the incense of our prayers ascend unto thee, and let thy loving kindness fall upon us, that with devoted hearts we may sing thy praises with the church on earth and the whole heavenly host, and glorify thy name forever and ever. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Ah, we've got a few more. Yes, so we do. Just in time. You're just in time. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Wind blowing for today. Is it? Then stay still. <laughs> Now you know what you know what these become. What we do with these tomorrow? Ashes. Yeah. Do you remember how we use them in church? As a part of the service, people come forward, and we put a little bit of ash on the forehead, and we say these words: "You remember that thou art dust, and from dust, and to dust thou shalt return." It uh, reminds us of that story in Genesis where God leans down in the dust and makes, makes men and women out of it. And um, but that's our beginning and it's our middle, but our end is in heaven with God. But we remind ourselves of that tradition. Um, there are those who, when they were sorry for something, they put ash on their head. You read about that in Sunday school, I know. Draw a picture.